Hi, I'm Alan Tutt, and in this video, I'll share with you the key principles behind manifesting and what it takes to get positive results from your manifesting efforts. Anyone who has studied manifesting has most likely run across a wide variety of concepts and claims that seem to conflict with each other. Some people will tell you that the only thing you need to manifest a desired result is to just have faith that it will happen. Others will say that you need to speak aloud a particular set of words in a particular way on the right day of the month before you can expect positive results. And others will tell you that you need to employ the use of crystals, candles, incense, oils, pyramids, or one of a thousand other things to enhance your efforts, which wouldn't be enough on their own. I've spent over 30 years studying manifesting. And most of that time was spent testing the many different ideas, as well as all possible combinations of ideas, including combining things in different orders to find out if that made any difference. What I have found is that manifesting is based on three key principles. Any technique that works involves these three principles in some way. These three principles are belief, willpower, and imagination. Belief, sometimes called faith or expectancy, is the primary factor behind manifesting. Our experience of reality is essentially a reflection of our beliefs. This is why one of the most famous miracle workers continually said, according to your faith is it done to you, and claimed that you can command mountains to throw themselves into the sea, as long as you truly believed it would happen and did not doubt. The main reason not everyone sees this connection is because we have multiple levels of belief, and it's completely possible to believe one thing on the surface, while another belief deeper down contradicts the surface belief. This is why we sometimes get results that don't match up with our surface beliefs. Now, when we want to change our experience of reality, this means we need to change what we believe on one or more levels. This is where willpower comes into the picture. Willpower is the ability to make a decision and stick with it no matter what. In the case of manifesting, it's a decision to believe something new and hold on to this view of reality until reality itself changes to match our concept of it. Yeah, I agree. Easier said than done. And this is why imagination plays a significant role in the process of manifesting. In most cases, we believe the things we do because we've had experiences that support these beliefs. One of the best ways to change a belief is to change our experiences. Look at it this way. If someone has lied to you over and over again, you start to expect them to lie, and they would need to be completely honest with you quite a number of times before you start trusting them again. If you've experienced lack and limitation for years, manifesting success and abundance requires that you experience success and abundance often enough for your beliefs to change and you start to expect success and abundance. One way of getting this experience is to imagine it. While not quite as effective as having actual physical experience, it is good enough to shift our beliefs, especially when done the right way. And yeah, there's a video coming describing how to do it the right way. You can manifest practically anything as long as you can shift your beliefs to support the new experience. And this is done with a combination of willpower and imagination. In my next video, I'll explain the actual mechanics of how this is done. Before that, however, please click the like button below to let YouTube know you'd like to see more content like this. And subscribe if you haven't already, so new videos show up on your subscriptions page. Until next time, be blessed, my friend. Thank you.